we are asked to determine which property of real numbers is shown. Notice on the right we have a list of properties. On the left, we need to indicate which property is shown. In this video, we won't go through each of these properties in detail, but I will put them up on the screen, so if you need to, you can pause the video for review. On this slide, we have the commutative property of addition, the commutative property of multiplication, the associative property of addition, the associative property of multiplication, and the distributive property. On this slide, we have the identity property of addition, the identity property of multiplication, the inverse property of addition, and the inverse property of multiplication. And then finally, on this slide, we have several properties of zero. Going back to our examples, we first need to analyze this first equation and determine what has changed from the left to the right. Notice how the z times one over z on the left has been simplified to one on the right. So let's focus on the property illustrated by z times one over z equals one. Whenever we have a product equal to one, we are using the multiplicative inverse property and we can say that one over z is a multiplicative inverse of z. It's also true that z and one over z are reciprocals. This illustrates the multiplicative inverse property. Next we have 12 plus the quantity zero plus six equals 12 plus six. Notice in this equation the zero plus six on the left has been simplified to six on the right. We need to focus on the property shown by zero plus six equals six. Whenever we have a sum involving zero, we are using the identity property of addition, which is given here. Next we have 12 plus the quantity zero times seven equals 12 plus zero. Notice in this equation, the zero times seven on the left has been simplified to zero on the right. We need to determine what property is shown by zero times seven equals zero. Whenever we have a product involving zero, we know the product will always be zero. This is due to the multiplication property of zero, which is the last property given. For the last example, we have the quantity two times four x minus 11 equals the quantity, and then the quantity two times four times x minus 11. Notice on the left side of the equation, we have two times four x. On the right, we have the quantity two times four times x. Also remember that four x means four times x. We need to focus on the property shown by two times, again let's write four x as four times x. So we have times the quantity four times x equals, on the right, we need to focus on the quantity two times four times x. Notice how we have a product where the factors in the parentheses or grouping symbols has changed. This is the associative property of multiplication which is listed here. I hope you found this helpful.